Stakes, we got Throwback Thursday. What do you got for us this week? Jama, we got Bernie Quinlan's 991 Brownlow Medal. Let's take a look. South Melbourne. F. Jackson. Oh. <laughs> Only one vote left to be counted, and it's a tie at the moment with Rod Ashman, the possibility. It's 22 apiece to Quinlan and Round. Ashman, 21. And there's Bernie Quinlan and his wife. The final vote. Collingwood, P. Dacre. Two medals. So it's Barry Round and Bernie Quinlan. Dual Brownlow medal winners, both of whom we would like to come up onto the stage to be presented with their medal by the President of the Victorian Football League, Dr. Alan Ayler. for the first time in league history, would you welcome the President of the Victorian Football League, Dr Alan Ayler. Mr Premier, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Victorian Football League, I formally announce the winners of the 1981 Brownlow Medal. For your information, Bernie Quinlan of the Fitzroy Club hold six first votes and two second votes. Barry Round from the South Melbourne Club polled six first votes, one second vote and two third votes, giving both players a total of 22. It was a decision of the Victorian Football League in October last year to move away from the countback system and if there was a tie to award two medals or more to any persons who tied the vote. On behalf of the league, I congratulate both players. They are magnificent players and fully deserve this honour. I now, on behalf of the league, officially present firstly to Bernie Quinlan the 1981 Brownlow Medal. Congratulations. Well Bernie, you uh, made a late move as well in the camp. Did you give yourself a chance of winning? Well, when I had four coming into the, uh, the three votes, I, I didn't give myself a show at all. <laughs> well, what uh, do you put that down to? You must have got uh, a lot of best on the ground performances. I think uh, Dr. Aylett said you had six, so you've been pretty consistent throughout the year as well. Well, it has been my most consistent year, and, uh, well, everyone at Fitzroy has really lifted their games this year, and uh, it's been a great team effort, really, at Fitzroy. And uh, we had a lot to prove at Fitzroy this year after finishing on the bottom of the ladder. And uh, we knew we weren't a, a wooden spoon side, and uh, everyone really put in to, to try to lift the club. If there was one person that helped you win a Brownlow medal, who would it be? The coach down there, Barry thanked Ian Stewart. Has Robert Walls brought out something in you that other coaches haven't? Yes, I think I'd, I'd have to put down my improvement to Robert Walls. His training methods and uh, everything about his, his coaching has been fantastic and it's really helped, I think, everyone in the team. I asked Barry the same question. Uh, what does a Brownlow mean to you? Uh, what does it mean to Bernie Quinlan? Oh, I haven't thought about it yet, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> it's too soon. <laughs> well, obviously, you'll celebrate tonight. Uh, and next year, maybe the Roys can go one better. Oh, I'd like to think so, Peter. We, uh, we finished off on a, a note where we thought we could have gone further, but uh, it wasn't to be. But I, we hope we'll be there next year. Bernie, on behalf of all of us here, congratulations to you and Barry around joint winners of the Brownlow. Night and night and night and night.